Uh, your weather from the Demesman and Dover Law Firm, your action in attorneys.com. Really quickly before I finish that, our, the Mac Jones story, like I, I was very fascinated by this yeah. because we found out a week ago that the Patriots were interested in Lamar Jackson. Uh, or you rather, interrupt your own weather report. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you were in the middle of your weather and you're like, but before I get to that, this Mac Jones story, what happened? Um, rather, Lamar Jackson was interested in the Patriots. Mm-hmm. We found out his camp interested in the Patriots. And then there was this report that the Patriots are not interested in Lamar Jackson. A former Patriot came out, I forget who it was, said, you don't want to play for Bill Belichick. And then now we're finding uh, out. Santi Samuel. Yeah. 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 And now we're finding out that the Patriots, according to Mike Florio and Pro Football Talk, have been shopping Mac Jones all offseason. A couple teams that uh, were mentioned as potential destinations, the Bucks, the Raiders, the Texans, and the Washington Commanders. Listen, you're nothing but a number in the NFL. Some guys are good enough to get out of just being RB1 or quarterback three. The Patriot organization, you are at all times RB1 and quarterback three. They don't, they don't, Bell Belichick does not have any But I don't think there's anything special personally. about Mac Jones anyway. So if they can get something for him, I mean, why wouldn't you try to recalibrate? And the thing with New England, because Asante Samuel came out and he's like, this, it, the, he kind of caused a, doing the Patriots, damn near like the devil. Right. Like, you don't want to be there. This is the worst place ever. And then Jacoby Meyer came out and had a statement as well. Like, you go back and forth with it. You, It's a certain player that needs to be a Patriot. And if you want anything other than military-style approach, that's what the Patriots do. Some players don't like it. Asante didn't. Jacoby did. And like, by the way, the way it is. if you're sitting in a conference room and you're Bill Belichick and you're looking at the teams in the AFC East and you go, all right, uh, looks like uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be on the Jets. Josh Allen's on the Bills. Tua, kind of good when he's healthy, mm-hmm. and they've got some good weapons for him. Are we all right with Mac Jones? Do we think we can compete, or maybe could we upgrade? And of course the answer is you could upgrade. Oh, easily. So see if we can get something for him. Can't, you can't. But if you can get something for him, why not? My only thing is, like, for years down here, with the Brian Flores regime, we talked about Tua having different offensive coordinators, never really getting a fair shot, right? Never having that um, stable system around him to watch him succeed. And I think Mac Jones is a bum. I've been very clear about that. I don't think he's anything special, but we kind of have to hold that same standard with Mac Jones, right? Like, he had a defensive coordinator, his offensive coordinator. He's about to have, I think, his fourth OC in four years or three third offensive coordinator in his third season. Like, it's kind of the same situation, right? As Mac Jones been given a fair shot in New England when it's kind of like this cycle of coaches who don't necessarily think he's good enough anyways and they're trying to limit him from making mistakes. That's my only thing. Like, maybe Mac Jones has some upside that we haven't seen. Oh, a little Mac Jones apologist no, I'm here. just saying. I'm just saying. I'm so, I- oh, now <laughs> you want to shoot me in my pinky toe. <laughs> I kind of see what Solana's saying. But it goes further back than that, Solana, because I've watched Mac Jones game manage from Alabama. Like, Mac Jones is not – he's not an explosive quarterback, an electric quarterback. He At Alabama, he threw screens and let great receivers run down the field real fast. Like, Mac Jones is not impressive football-wise. I see what you're saying, though. People do get hurt by the organization they go to and the coordinator that they're playing for. But, I, bro, I would bet money Mac Jones is no pro bowler in his career. Already was. I'm talking about like, a pro you, know, you know what I'm saying about all pro. Yeah, the, the top, top guy. Yeah. Not the guy that gets in because seven dudes get hurt. The guy that's respected by the entire football Brent world. Brent Hundley was a pro bowler. That's on his resume. I oh, couldn't. now you're going to shoot me in my <laughs> pinky toe. Oh, now you're a Mac Jones apologist. <laughs> oh, now you're going to shoot me in my pinky toe. <laughs> Why am I explaining to you Mac Jones is not that good at football? No, what I'm with you. you. I think he's a huge bum. Total bum. Oh, but if he had a chance, maybe he'd be better. I don't know. Happened to this guy. Just saying, keep that same energy, bro. That's all I'm saying. About Mac Jones? Why? That's all I'm saying. Why? Why, why, why do I give I'm a saying. bleep about Mac Jones? Okay. Keep the same energy. Keep that Mac same Jones. energy, bro. Why? Why, why heard, do I have to keep that same energy? He Mac heard Jones? that on a Kodak Black TikTok or something. <laughs> Valentina, write this one down. <laughs> Keep that <laughs> same <laughs> energy. Think this will work on the brothers. 
brothers. Yeah, he's going to work on the brothers. <laughs> when I break out my Mac Jones take. <laughs>